Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Feelers, and I have a really interesting tutorial, and I like to think uh, sometimes to think out of the box, and this is one of those where there is a feature in Affinity Photo, and it's used for one thing, but I've discovered other ways to use it, and I think you'll find it interesting. But before I go any further, I just want to say that I haven't done a tutorial in a while. I was tested for COVID-19 and I tested negative. And then a few days later, I was in the hospital with all the symptoms. And I was in the hospital for quite a while. This is since March and it is now May. And I'm out, I've been out of the hospital a couple of weeks and I'm still not 100% better, but I'm almost there. So I haven't had a tutorial. I'm sorry about that, and I really appreciate all the people who have contacted me wondering why I haven't had the tutorial and being concerned. Since I haven't done a tutorial in a while, YouTube no longer seems to be putting me on suggested list. So I guess I'm losing some viewers because of it. So if possible, if you like my tutorials, please share them maybe on your Facebook page or your Twitter. I would really appreciate it. So let's get started. So I just pulled this photo in from stock photos and I have the photos I will be using in the description below. This is something that someone drew and scanned in and it's on white paper. So there is a trick in Affinity Photo and what you can do is you can select that layer which is on white paper. I cropped it because yeah, I'll show you this so you could see. I didn't need all this right now, but I'm just using that part. If you drew something and you scanned it in, you can go up to filters, colors, and erase white paper. And what that does is it doesn't look any different here. If you have the document and say transparent black background, you can see that anything white in that document was removed. So for example, select the fill layer and you can go and change the color. So let's say we picked a red of some sort and moved it below. And you'll see that the white paper is removed. So everything else shows through except white. Now you could have done this several ways. I'm going to show you. You could have done if you went to here and you pull down the white and also you could have done it if you did multiply but both of those have disadvantages for example I could now take this and do a change of color to any color I want color overlay say that and I could change this to any color I want you cannot do that with multiply and I also can I'm going to undo that I can also hold down control or command and select that. You cannot do that with, with um, blend options. So this is really great that you can do this, but then you can even get a little more fancy. And I did that here. So you can see that I added a, a blend fill and here's how I did that. I'll delete that. In fact, I could take this fill probably and go like this and say gradient. And if I want, say, any color, I can do a yellow and then pick this one and do a green. And now I can go to here, which is the gradient fill. And then I just pull it down and do any colors I want. So this is, this is typically what white... <clears throat> You have to pardon my voice because again, I'm not 100% well yet, but this is typically what remove erase white paper is for. You're basically showing the black and that's the usual way to use it. But I really discovered a couple of interesting ways instead of just worrying about sketching something and removing white paper. And that's what I'm gonna show you next. So let's um, get out of this one. I'm gonna not save that. I'm gonna go to file my recent and I'm going to do portrait so I found this again in stock photos and I have the list below you can use any black and white portrait and this portrait 
was on a white background, which is perfect. And I'll show you some that are not on a white background. I'll show you the next one after this. But what I did, once again, was, I'm going to hide these. What I did was I went up and I said, layer, no, I'm sorry, filters, colors, erase white paper. And it's erased. And the reason it's still showing white is my background is white. When I started, I could take my document and erase, but I'm not going to do that. And now I'm going to, once again, I'm going to show you one that I did here. And so I'm going to just do a new one. I'm going to say layer, new fill layer. And I'm, instead of a solid, I'm sorry, I'm going to click on this. And I am going to say gradient. And in the gradient, maybe... I think I'm going to try, I don't know which color to try. A lot of people are doing the, uh, the teal and orange, so maybe I'll do that. So let's go orange here, and then let's go to this one, and maybe go teal, which is the opposite of orange. And now you have to go to the gradient tool, and that's where you can do that but let's move that behind and you're not you don't only have to do it that way instead of linear you can go radial and I want to reverse them I don't know if I could do that let's see how I could do that this is the blue in the middle so I really wanted to reverse them so let me open that up again and say reverse so now I have the orange in the middle and I could take this and I can do some cool things like that. That's going to be my center point and I could pull that out something like that, which is interesting. And then I can go this way, more, more blue or more orange, more teal, I should say, or more orange. And that's a cool effect, I think. You can do radio, you could do all kinds of different things. And then, of course, you, if you think it's too much, you can lower it, lower the opacity a little or raise the opacity, whatever one you want. And I think it's a pretty cool look. In the end, you can always add texture on top. This is not about all of that. This is about erasing white paper and different interesting things you could do with it. So let's save that. I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to say File Recent. And I did a forest one. Now, this is the original forest one. So I'm going to hide all these. What I did with the forest one, I thought was fun, is you can duplicate it. Control J. And I'm going to put this on the bottom of everything. Just don't worry about all of this. That was my previous ones. Actually, I'll just put it right here. Never mind. I'll put it right underneath it. And these I'll group and I'll hide. And I'll hide it. So, so now I have a duplicate of this. So what you could do with this now is you can convert this to black and white by doing uh, filters, hue and S HSLs, hue, saturation, and luminosity. And we're just going to get rid of the saturation. So if you get rid of the saturation, I'm going to turn these off right now. If you get rid of that, now you touch that layer and you go to filters color erase white paper now the white is gone so basically if i turn the color underneath it you can see that anything white turns color but let me turn that off for now because now once again underneath it i'm going to do layer new fill layer and you can obviously give great colors and you can lower your opacity and you can do some cool things like that. But what I'm going to do is once again, I am going to go to gradient and let's see, maybe we'll go, I think we'll start with a blue because think of the sky. No, you know what? I think I'm going to go orange in the sky. I think that would be better. And then I'm going to go to a green. Let's see, a darker green, maybe like that. And, and then we go here to the gradient tool and we start doing this. 
So this is a linear gradient. So now you can see that the sky, you could see the sky. Let me make it smaller because I want to pull it down more. Instead of so much green, you can do something like that. So it's not as much green there. The more you pull down, then you're blending in the oranges and you can see the lighting there. And of course, that's too much for me. So I can lower it that way. Or now I can turn this and, and, and the fill layer and maybe change to different grading on top of the color version. So now you're blending in. That's a hard light. Let's do a soft, maybe an overlay. So now you're blending this with the, the original color and you can decide maybe this one's too much or too little and you can add it and here's the original you can fade that one away and bring back more color there and you could do a lot of interesting things you got to think out of the box I mean once again you can do so many kind of things like this one here if you if you want it to look antique and you could put textured paper behind it um, you could do the old paper like the tannish color uh, a burnt paper you can it doesn't even have to be like this. There's just so much you can do. So I'm hoping that you like this tutorial and please, please share it so I can get back on the suggested list and, and people will start watching the videos again. And have a great day. Take care. Bye.